Hey guys, Faze here. Um, in this video, I'll give you a couple of ways uh, to defend against a jab or double jab using the parry. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, George Benton as my example and how he would um, defend against a jab using the parry and slip from the Philly Shell stance. Um, so Zan's going to get into his stance. Uh, the first one I'm going to do, Zan's going to parry the jab and then slip the jab to the outside. So I'm going to throw a jab, he's going to parry and then slip the jab to the outside. Okay, so I can use the parry and slip against the um, against double jab. I can use it against the one two as well. Okay, so now in this video, I want to show you three ways what to do after the slip. So you're not going to just stand there after slipping. You're going to do something after that slip as well. So firstly, Dan's going to do the parry slip, and he's going to pivot off. Okay, so you're going to parry slip and pivot off. That's one way. Um, another way, what George Benton would do, he would smother you after the parry and slip. Slip. So Zan's going to parry slip the jab, and then he's going to step in with his front foot to smother and close the gap. Parry slip and smother. From there, he will work inside. And he's wanting to counter. Uh, just a basic way of countering, which George Benton would do. Uh, Benton would parry slip, then circle to the left with a double jab. So parry slip, circle to the left, double jab. Okay. And slip. Okay. Parry slip. Okay, so that's um, parry and slip, fair way to defend with a jab, double jab. Um, and there's also three ways now you can use uh, what to do after that slip. Uh, so the first way was parry slip and pivot, change the angle. Second way was parry slip and step in, close the gap and work inside. The last way was countering, parry slip, double jab, circle to the left and do a counter punch. Okay.